Hey guys, it's Adam Levitan and I am here at the Fantasy Labs homepage. We are one week away from the start of the 2017 NFL season. The Fantasy Labs 2017 NFL product has officially launched. It's a glorious time to be alive. Uh, I'm here today to do a screencast on one of my favorite tools, if not my most favorite tool that we've ever had. Here, shout out to all the developers that worked on this. I don't really know exactly who it was, but the tool is really sweet. And it is called the Correlation Matrix. So I'm just going to go here to NFL. I'm going to go to Correlations. And we're going to see this cool looking matrix here. First of all, I would encourage you to go back and find Brian Mears' uh, screencast on this exact topic. He talked about exactly what it means, what a lot of numbers mean, um, and how to play with it really well. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the strategy and kind of how uh, I think that you can use this profitably when making lineups. So one of the most common questions that I get and one of the things people are most interested in is correlation, meaning can I play Devontae Freeman and Julio Jones in the same lineup profitably? Can I play Julio and Mohamed Sanu in the same lineup? Can I play Julio and Austin Hooper in the same lineup. And so these are really simple questions to answer here. I don't think you need uh, me to tell you how to read this, but if you go out to know if you can play Devontae and Julio together, you just go to RB1 and wide receiver one. You see the correlation here, not that strong. It's not terrible. You certainly can, but 0.19 is not great. This is on a scale of zero up to 1.00. Can I play Julio and Sanu? You would just go to wide receiver one and wide receiver two, even weaker correlation there between those two. Can I play Julio and Hooper, wide receiver one and TE1, uh, same as wide receiver one and wide receiver two there, 0.07. And you can also do it with opposing teams. Let's say the Falcons are playing the Rams. Uh, can I play Matt Ryan and Todd Gurley in the same lineup? And that would be quarterback. And opposing RB1 is actually reasonably strong at 0.29. Um, so those are kind of answers some of the simple questions. You can kind of play around with this and see what jumps out to you. I think uh, one correlation that people play a lot that they think is just a lock is running back and defense. Well, that correlation is only 0.18. But that's where this tool starts to get really cool. So overall, for all running back ones and all defenses, the correlation is only 0.18. But let's think about a kind of touchdown dependent running back, one that needs game flow in his favor. Let's go with something like the Rams. So we go up here to the team box. We uncheck all. We go down to the Rams and we update it. Now, RB1 and defense is a massive correlation. 0.44, really strong. Way stronger than the overall uh, picture of every running back. So Todd Gurley and the defense of the Rams correlate really really well together that's obviously important for week one where you have this situation where Todd Gurley is in like the dream spot uh home against the Colts got Sammy Watkins you know just the Colts are disaster game flow should be in their favor with Andrew Luck hurt etc cetera, etc cetera. so you know really strong there now let's say that the uh Rams are favored also okay let's see if that makes a difference so now we can say when the team is favored, so minus one to minus 17, we'll refresh this. And now the correlation between RB1 and defense, the Rams RB1 and the Rams defense from 2014 to now is 0.56, even higher. I mean, that is a massive, massive correlation. And if Andrew Luck is scratched, I would expect uh, the Rams to be favored by at least a field goal. Um, I think we can keep looking at things too. Let's go back here. Let's reset these. Let's check all. When totals are really high, there's a big difference, right? So like in games where the total is at least 50, let's say, let's update the matrix and look at it now. Well, now you can play wide receiver one and wide receiver two a little bit, little bit more profitably than you could before. Um, the quarterback, obviously, and the correlations go up as more points are likely to be scored. But you can kind of play around with this. You can play around the teams. You can play around the dates. Look just at last year. You can just play around with so many different things. If you watch Brian's uh, screencast, he'll tell you what all this stuff is. He'll tell you what all this stuff means. But I would encourage you guys to um, use this to play around with and not just the overall picture, but also within teams 
and within totals and within spreads because I think he gives you a general picture. I would never say, oh, this team is favored by three and their total is 52 points. We can't, we have to play, you know, this really strong correlation. I think you take every situation individually, but this is just one more piece of the pie that we use to make decisions. I just think it's a really cool tool. Um, hope you guys play around with it. Any questions, do not hesitate to email me, ajl201 at yahoo.com. For Jerry, I am Adam. Good luck, everybody.